Hey yo, what is up guys? I am back. It, hopefully you guys watched my Alan Wake video and my Sly Cooper 1 video before this one because it's kind of like the, the sequel to it all. Anyway, so yes, I'm playing Sly 2 Band of Thieves again. I was a huge fan of this series growing up, as you all know. <laughs> I talk about it a lot and obviously there's a lot of videos on my channel about it. So, we're actually playing what I always remember as my favorite one. I had just the most fun amount of time playing it. It was the first one I played. There's just no other game like it. I haven't played one like it since. Um, so yeah, I just I, when I was a kid, I loved the gameplay. My sister actually got it on rental, so here's like the funny story. My sister uh, like the rental of it, and she couldn't play it in the basement because like the glare of the light on the TV, you couldn't see anything. So I went downstairs. I took it out. I brought it to my PS2 upstairs. I started playing it, and then I was like, "Damn, this game is fun!" And then after we, the rental came up, I was like, "We got to go and uh, we got to go and get we got to get this game." So I actually went and got it at Toys R Us, and that's where I first got it. So yeah, I'm really stoked to be playing this again. I'll be giving you guys my updates as it goes. So let's get into this game. Okay, so I made it to the end of the third level, which is the second India level, we'll call it. So I'll give my take on the, first, the opening for three levels of this game. And this game, it has such an awesome setup, that opening cutscene. Again, bringing back that comic book style that the Sly Cooper series is known for and bringing it to all the other games, Infamous, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, it came from here. And these, these, those opening cutscenes and that whole opening intro showing that everything would be different now because Murray and Bentley were now going to be playable characters along Sly, not just in side missions and stuff the way they were used in the first game. And that I really, really liked. And this game, so the, it has a lot of changes, but it keeps the core the same, but it expands it into the open world, which was worked really well with the Sly Cooper series. Instead of just using it through a normal platforming level, you're now in an open world where you're able to use all your thieving moves. With, and it brings all the spotlights, the lasers, the flashlight guards, all the, the, the rooftop guards, all sorts of stuff. The guards in this game are, are really cool. And the bosses, again, bringing in like their own like little mic checks and stuff like that to the guards. And they get, they get a little bit more personality and they get to be a, a bit more in this game a little bit due to the little bit more added length that the first didn't have, but still great. But it just it just takes all that core gameplay from Sly 1. And then it brings in two new characters who were really useful in doing, which in this game, it is a heist theme, which is Bentley and Murray. And Bentley's the brawler, the muscle, and he works all the, the mechanical stuff. And Bentley, he, he too can, he works like the RCs, the tech, and any job that requires technical ability. We got Bentley, the guy, the brains of the outfit. So yeah, each character is different and unique in their own way, which I would like to say my one down point for this game is that Murray doesn't get to appear in it quite as much as I would like in the first first three missions of this game, But because all of his missions are really fun. So that's why I'm like, damn, I, I could have played more of these. So uh, yeah, one thing I really wanted to mention here was that the game has a great noir style to it. Just like the great presentation with the music and the characters, and it's just got this awesome, awesome noir feel to it. And yeah, so I should also mention this, that this game does bring back the clue bottles, which do get you power-ups and fun fun weapons to use. It's not weapons, but like techniques and stuff you get to use throughout the game. But yeah, overall, I am really into this game. I could not stop playing it, and I just I want to get back to playing it. So uh, I'll get back to back to you here in a little bit, and we'll we'll talk more about it. All right, guys. So I did just beat Sly Two Band of Thieves, and I have to say I thought the overall game was just really really good. This game, it is a perfect length for how long it takes. It took me about 12 hours to beat that. It includes getting all the clue bottles and all the power-ups that you buy off ThiefNet. So, yeah, it was a really good game. I love this. I didn't... I, I, I it, it is really addictive. This game, it is... It's just really, really addictive to play because you just kind of, like, really get into it. The, the missions and the levels and stuff in it are just really, really fun, and you, you just find yourself... Just, Next level, next level, next level, next mission, next mission. 
And you always want to go and see what the next world is like. And they're all really, really awesome and unique. And along with the world, the guards go with it, the villain goes with it, and yeah, the open world, it's just every one of them, it's just all unique. Every one of them is different and unique in their own way, and they're all super memorable. So, that, they're, it's just really fun to play. Uh, I should also mention the boss battles in this game, I forgot, were actually really fun. Like, playing against, Demi playing against Dimitri is a fun fight, the Rajon fight is, might be the best one, the Contessa fight's fun, the Jean Besson fight's fun. So, yeah, they're all just these great, great boss battles. And along with that, the bosses in there are just great. Again, like, every character and every cutscene building up to the characters and are just amazing. All those, all those comic book cutscenes are just, they just build on it so much. And I just, I honestly, I can't say enough good things about this game. I absolutely adore this game. It's probably my favorite game I've ever played in my entire life. It just, it never gets old. I play it all the time. You always, every time you play it, you do something different in it. Or you have to, you think of a different idea or a different way to use things. My only complaint is, is that you can't restart it with the power-ups and play through all the levels and stuff again. Or, or there's no, like, horseshoe mode in it. So it does lack some extra stuff. But other than that, it's just, it's so much fun. I can't even, I can't even tell you guys. Again, it's on the PSN network. You can download the Sly Collection and play this game. That's how friggin' good this game is. You will not regret playing this game. It is fun. Like, if you like to have fun, this game is for you. So that's all I can really say about the game. Other than, like, it just, it's so unique. And Sucker Punch, they just, this is like, this is, this is, suck, like, a lot of people will probably say, like, Ghost of Tsushima, it, or... Infamous one are like sucker punches like Games no, it's this game right here. This is the game that like showed how awesome they were like everything like they they had the like, rocket was good I heard and slice we all know slide ones amazing But this is the one that's like it took them from here to here and made them like along with naughty dog and insomniac as great game developers so I, I honestly, like, I, I, I played through the game again. Like, that's, again, like I say that about Slide 1, so just put it back on, I'll play it again. <laughs> that's how much fun this game is. But, I'm about to carry on the series. We'll be starting up Sly 3 here, so be, be ready back for that video when, I'm ready, when, I, when I finally complete that one. Alright, guys, get this game, play this game, and peace out. <laughs>